Hey guys, Nate here, Go Karts Are Gone Fishing. Back at you with another video, me and Sue actually. And uh, I got the Moto Box build behind me here. We've been working on the drag bike. That's not gonna be a drag bike. But uh, as you can see, there's a Makuni 32 millimeter carburetor sitting on there. And uh, I'm gonna show you how I did it in this video. And uh, the first part of the video, I obviously didn't think things through very well. So uh, sorry about that, but everybody makes mistakes. and. Uh, yeah, but it's on there, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. So at this point, I'd gotten frustrated, and it's really it really helps to have the right tool for the job, right? And uh, we decided uh, Trevor and Johnny came by, and we decided to take a little trip to Tractor Supply to see what we could find, maybe a inch and a quarter drill bit or something like that. But I ended up finding two washers and da 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 da. But yeah, we drove the golf carts to Tractor Supply and got a little distracted. <laughs> That John Deere wouldn't have pulled that out. It will. No, it wouldn't have. It barely pulled me out. Uh, use your stingy rope. <laughs> What's up? Cigarette away. We made a tractor supply with the carts. Yeah. Woo! Alright, so that was whooping my butt. <laughs> I quit that kind, it got hard. But Johnny and Trevor came over and we got really distracted but we went and got some uh, big old washers from Tractor Supply and uh, had a good time going to do that so now I'm gonna mark these 
pretty much the same as what I got this marked as. Drill two holes out and do some grinding around the edges and it'll be a perfect flange. So I'm going to get to work on that. I'm going to take this and turn it into this. Now on to the next step, cutting it out to make it look like that. And then from that, into this. And it took a little bit of cutting and grinding, probably about five, ten minutes worth of work. Now I got something to work with. I need to make one more though. Alrighty, it's about three years later. And uh, I got this flange built out of that washer for the carb. And I got the flange built for the intake on the motor. And I've got this piece of one inch inside diameter pipe and uh, I got to make some pie cuts because I got to get that carb out here like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some pie cuts in here and give this thing a kick. And I really don't like doing this because it does leave a bunch of junk on the inside. But I guess that will help mix the air and fuel, huh? Johnny's help, I was able to get it tacked on there, and uh, it's just tacked right now. But man, Johnny, how much fun was that? Crazy fun. Huh? That was crazy fun. It was not fun at all. No. Weld grind, weld grind, weld grind. And there's still some pinholes in it, but we are we got a solution for that. Well, it looks like crap right now because it's getting late and we got in a hurry, but we'll fix it up in the morning. It's almost done. All right, guys. Now I'm going to show you how to make it look good because this looks like doo-doo, okay? So I got me some good old JB weld here. A sawzall blade and I'm gonna mix it up real good and this is gonna be my trick to sealing the pinholes and I'm gonna use it kind of like a body filler to make it look good I'm just gonna use my finger because you can just get a really good application Smush it all down into the holes. Cover up all those nasty welds. This is inspired by a Moto Mule. He's building an awesome, uh, he's got an awesome build going right now of a <clears throat> four wheel drive, grave digger power wheels and uh, he was awesome enough to put my channel name on a sticker on the side of his build and I mean it made my week it was awesome that was awesome of him to do that he's really looking out for the smaller channels giving them shout outs that's something you don't see big channels do very often so I'm gonna do the same thing I found a few small channels recently, and uh, I'm going to give them a little shout out here. One of them is Metal Fabrications. So this guy, I found him on Instagram, and I think he started Instagram way before 
He started uh, YouTube. He's got tons of followers on Instagram, and for a good reason, because this guy has fabrication skills. Serious fabrication skills. And, uh, yeah, he check him out on Instagram and YouTube, Metal Fabrications. And I promise you won't be disappointed. He builds mini bikes, builds go-karts, builds his own frames. And, uh, yeah, so my storage filled up, but, oh, dang it. <laughs> Sat it down and it started to stick. So, JB Weld's all on there. Make sure you check out Metal Fabrications. And uh, two more guys I want you to check out is Badger Canyon Motorsports. I just found this YouTube channel. This guy is also really skilled. And uh, another one is Boneyard Garage. Uh, he's a good friend of mine. I've known him for a while, but he needs more su supporters. He definitely deserves it. So make, go make sure you check out Metal Fabrications, Badger Canyon Motorsports, and uh, Boneyard Garage. And of course, Moto Mule. And I got a lot more friends out there too. They know who they are. And uh, yeah, I'm going to let this dry for a little bit. And then we'll sand it up and put some primer on it. And then that's when it'll start to look good. All right, after tons of sanding. Oh, and let me tell you, it's only about an hour since that last clip. Um, I put this thing in the oven at 200 degrees for about 15 minutes. And it got hard as a rock quick like. So... That worked really good. I'm definitely going to use that in the future. Now this thing ain't perfect, but it is holding air now. So I'm going to shoot some primer on it. Let that dry. And then... I'm going to stick it on the motor. Hopefully we can hear this thing start today. Ooh, that stuff goes on thick. So, after numerous coats of paint and numerous times sanding, that doesn't help, I'm uh, finally finished with her. Looks pretty good. I'm going to throw some black spray paint on it for now and uh, let it dry and throw it on the motor. Sorry about the washer running in the background. No. here gonna get it started up might have to have mrs. Kurt come hold this up that's choke all right hold it back up it's full. Since it was starving for fuel, I moved the needle on the slide and uh, gave it some more fuel and now it runs better. Dang it, I had it idled down real low but not really.
right guys as you can see we got her running really good and uh, I'm really happy with the intake how it came out um, next thing I need to do is get my um, frame welded up nice and drill the holes and slots for the motor mount but that'll be in the next video but if you guys like this kind of stuff hit that like button for me if you haven't already subscribe and all that good stuff um, I'm still uh, waiting on some parts for the rear end I gotta get that axle situated so I know I thought I said I might have said last video that we might get to ride it this video but I gotta get those axle parts first and they're pretty expensive so give me time but I don't know maybe the next video will be getting this thing right here running this is a generator it's a buddy of mine he hasn't heard it run yet so I told him I'd check it out for him so maybe next weekend that'll be the video unless something else cool happens but like I said thanks for watching go karts are going fishing out